Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of ordering numbers. This is standard 6.2D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 14 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work the problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we've got a table here of how long it took for two, uh, for four students to build a website. And we've got two of them that happen to be percents and then two that happen to be fractions. So what we cannot do is compare these. We need to go from greatest to least. So we cannot compare them and order them unless they are all in the same format. So we've got some options here. Uh, the simplest thing to do is to change them all into decimals. When you change them all into decimals, that makes it really easy to look at. So let's start with our percents. Our percents are really easy to change into decimals. So let's look at our 29.4 percent. And so when we're going from a percent to a decimal, so let's look at that percent to decimal, you move the decimal right there two times now the direction is very important two times to the left now in this case we have a decimal in both of these if you ever come across a percent with no decimal it's always after the ones place so here's my decimal I'm gonna move it once I'm gonna move it twice and there we go so we're gonna put a zero in the ones place so there's something there we're gonna drop our percent but we're gonna make this zero point two nine four so changing from percent to decimal is pretty easy let's do our thirty seven point six percent take our decimal move it once move it twice put a zero in the ones place if there's not anything there drop the percent zero point three seven six now we've got some options with our fractions this one is actually going to be fairly easy because it has a denominator of 10. If you can make any fraction a denominator of 10, 100, or 1,000, well, then it's super easy. 3 tenths. There's no whole number. And look at this first place value right here. This first place value after the ones place, the first decimal place value, is actually the tenths place. So that, that denominator gives us our answer, 0 0.3. 3 tenths is the same as 3 over 10. Now since the other two went to the thousandths place, let's go ahead and put that 0. 0.300 thousandths. So now we're stuck with the 7 25ths. So let me show you the long way to do it. You can always divide up. Whenever you're taking a, a fraction you want to turn into decimal, you can always divide up. It is the long way. So there's 7, and there's nothing left over, so we can always put a decimal. Let's put a 0. And so let's see, 25 goes into 70 twice. And you just have to do some simple long division. And we'll get it. Let's see, 25, that's going to be 8 times. 8 quarters makes $2 because 4 quarters makes $1. So there we go. I've got 0 0.28. 0 0.28. Let's put another 0 there. So now we have all of our numbers and decimals. We can easily order them. Let me show you a way that might be a little bit easier. You can always change your fractions to find an equivalent fraction. Remember when I said that if you can get your denominator into 10, 100, or 1,000, you're golden. Well, when you're looking at 25, you should be thinking of quarters. You're thinking, what can I do to change and make an equivalent fraction from 25 up to 100? Remember, multiplying fractions, you just go straight across. Don't worry about the denominators being the same. That's just adding and subtracting. So 25 times what makes 100? Well, 25 cents is a quarter, so four quarters make a dollar. So what we could do is we can multiply by 4 over 4. The reason we're going to do that is because 4 over 4 makes 1. Anytime you, make, you multiply anything by 1, it stays the same. So we're just going to make it look different. So 28 hundredths, and take a look at this, 28 hundredths, 28 hundredths. So anyway, you look at it, uh, you can see that our greatest is going to be this right here, our Andrew. So Andrew is greatest, uh, so let's get rid of G and H. And then our next greatest is going to be this Blake right here. And so that one is wrong, and F is going to be our answer because we got Jamail, and then we got Ernesto, F.